Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're going to be looking at the M4A3 E2 Jumbo, the American Tier 6 Collector Tank. It's American Muscle or at least it used to be until it got slightly slapped in update 5.5 but more on that later. Now this is a subscriber request video and Boy, has this been pummeled into me, this request. So I finally got round to doing the video. That's what the beastie looks like. I mean, it's a beautiful tank. It's basically an up-powered, or used to be up-powered, M4. As you can see, it's now a collector. And damage output, 160. Not great. Rate of fire, 8.6. Not fantastic. Penetration, not brilliant. But it's not too bad. The armor is okay. And the speed for this heavy um, because whilst it's a medium because of that armor it's more of a heavy is actually not too bad either now when we then look at the more detailed stats hit points it's got 920 as you can see there the armor on the turret at the front isn't too bad but it's the same on the sides and on the rear the hull front is okay sides and rear pretty thin view range 256.3 meters well that's okay Camo rating, well, it's just below average, let's be fair. When we get to DPM, 1380, reload time just shy of 7 seconds. Penetration on your AP is 134, APCR is 186, these are the average pens. Damage output, 160 on your AP, 135 on your APCR and 200 on your HE. Aim time is just over 3 seconds. Depression, you get a whopping 10 degrees and a 25 on its elevation. Top speed, it's 35 going forwards, 15 going backwards with an average of 30. And as you can see, it's relatively heavy at almost 34 tons. Unfortunately, the Jumbo did not escape the grand culling that was update 5.5. And this is what it used to be. So it used to have a lot more hit points. The uh, the view range was a lot better. The rate of fire was a lot better. The reload time was a lot better. The dispersion was better. Um, <laughs> the weight was slightly improved. Um, but the DPM is the main one. As you can see there, it used to be 1750. It's now 1361 on your AP. Um, so it's not the tank it used to be. And that's a shame because now it struggles slightly. Don't get me wrong. It's still a nice tank. But prior to 5.5, it was a great tank. And that is the difference. However, let's have a look at this armor. As you can see, the front is pretty okay, and the turret is pretty mean, or so it would appear. Sides and rear are pretty thin on the hull. With that 10 degrees, it really is a hull down tank, but what happens if I stick it up against a tank it's likely to meet? In this case, a Tiger 131, which is a tier six premium tank. As you can see, I mean, it looks like it's gonna struggle to pen, but then I stick it in against a different tank. This time the Tiger 1, admittedly a tier above it. And boy, it's a big difference. And as you can see, the Tiger 1 is not going to struggle to pen this little thing. But what's it like to play? Well, it's still a formidable tank. Okay, we have to look at the Grand Culling, which took away a lot of its glory. But in the right hands, it's still a pretty good tank. You can smack most things. The pen values are nice, especially for this tier. It's dishing out average armor, and if you've put it in the right place against these tier 5, tier 6s, you should be able to bounce off the front of that armor plating. Some tanks, however, are just going to slice through it, like the Dicker Max. It doesn't matter how many times you angle it or put that front plate facing that enemy, he's still going to pen you, because the Dicker Max is a good TD with good pen. However, if you then decide that avoid the dicker max and go for something else you're not going to struggle to pen most things especially in tier 5 tier 6 tier 7 eh, it's a different kettle of fish you may struggle to pen but it all depends again i mean lots of tanks struggle to pen this thing 
it's got nice penetration values. The gun is still nice. It's lost a lot of its former glory, I admit. And, you know, because of the 5.5 great culling, it's slightly power creeped with the tanks around it. You can still have a lot of fun in this thing, however. I mean, I've done, what, just over a thousand damage here. The reload is a lot longer than it used to be. The pen is still great. The damage is a little bit less than what you're used to. But, boy, you can still be a menace on that battlefield. And I love rolling out in this thing. I mean, I still think it's a fantastic little tank. It's not as fantastic as it used to be, but it's still a fantastic little tank. I'm slightly sad that it was turned into a collector. I'm slightly sad that it got nerfed to oblivion. And this is this is the thing. This is one of the problems with 5.5. A lot of great tanks ended up becoming mediocre tanks. And the Jumbo is one of those, unfortunately. Anyway, it's now a collector. So I've not seen it. It may come around as an event tank or it may hit the... The, the, the store at some stage but it's no longer a tank that you can just buy we ended up doing what just shy of 1700 damage in that game got some nice credits we were the top damage machine and in total it was a nice game here we go again same map same tank just a different attitude um in this game it's it's a tier 6 tier 5 game and this is where it is most comfortable this is where it likes to be nowadays it likes to be either in this either top tier or middle tier it really doesn't like those tier sevens anymore but it does like being in this type of tier and as you can see there you know against these tanks these tier sixes it's gonna start bouncing and it's nice to that end and the thing about the jumbo a lot of people would say oh it used to be it was never op it was just a great tank and in real life i mean the jumbo came along and it was a pretty formidable tank in its own right and i could never understand why wargaming nerfed it as much as they did but they did it is what it is it's now a collector it's now been nerfed and because of its nerf it's also been power creeped at the same time and as I say, I mean, it's just a shame, really. But, and I have to keep, oh, look at that ammo rack. Yay! But, and I have to keep saying this, it's still a beautiful tank. It's no longer great, but it's good. And it's still a load of fun. You can still roll out in this thing and have a good time. And that's the whole idea. I mean, I, mean, I, I hadn't played the Jumbo for ages. Uh, in fact, I hadn't played it since update 5.5. I rolled out in this thing. I couldn't get an ace for love and the money. I have aced the tank in the past. First class was the best I could do in the games that I had. In some games, it was just a disaster. I mean, they were tier 7 games where I was bottom tier. And I, it just struggled massively. In this game, uh, and in the three games I'm showing you, it was able to hold its own and outshine. And as you can see, you know, you put it in the right place, you will bounce and I'm bouncing that little tank over there, having fun with this VK. He's, oh, I bounced the VK, unfortunately. Try to angle that plate in front of him. I fail miserably because you can do. Finally get the kill. Done 1,400 damage, near enough. Taken three kills. There's the T34, sorry, the Type 34 that was giving me a hard time, albeit bouncing me. I'm going to chase after him now. Why? Because I can. I'm in a jumbo. He's in a type 34. And the reload time. Oh my god. It's just awful nowadays. Look at that. Oh, he gets away. I'm not going to get my fourth kill. I do 1,703 damage. I bounce 1,290. I get three kills. And, you know, I consider that a success in this tank. We get another first class and another shed load of credits because you can get a lot of credits in the Jumbo nowadays. So this is the last game. This is me rolling out in the Jumbo here on Falls Creek. And I'm gonna try and use this gun depression to the maximum. I mean, because 10 degrees is very nice, especially on a tank like this. Okay, 
So it hasn't got the best armor anymore. It's still got pretty nice armor. It's, it's good. The, the armor profile hasn't changed. And you can still get some good shots in. Goodbye, WZ. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to farm away. I'm just going to farm everybody who comes in front of me. And you can see that, you know, because I'm facing off with that VK front on, he's finding it very difficult to penetrate me. And that's the good thing about the jumbo. I mean, the front of the armor and the turret is pretty rock solid. The VK is just going to struggle to pen. In fact, so is the ARL. <laughs> Bless him. But so I've already bounced 530. I've only dished out 675 damage. I'm in a nice spot. I've got good gun depression. I've got some nice cover. And I've got targets in front of me. We can have a good time. Oh, uncharacteristic bounce there on the VK. Darn it. And I'm just going to, you know, whilst this may look like a boring game, I'm putting shots in. I'm using the, the gun to its maximum effect. And I'm doing exactly what the tank can be do doing, which is just sitting here and farming damage. And you know i'm having a whale of a time i'm loving it as they say in mcdonald's 1158 damage now blocked 530 get my second kill now to 1242 there's only four tanks left they're all over there so i think it's time to push uh, unfortunately the team decides not to push at the same time really there we go Smack the VK for 200, 1,442 damage now. Roll up, see if we can smack him. No, good depression just out. KV2, a low KV2, smack you for 152. Oh, there's an ARL. And don't forget there's an ARL TD there as well somewhere. Smack the KV2 again, 1,781. Only block 530 still, still only got three kills. Can I smack the KV2 again? Yes, I can. Oh, now I'm being pushed by the ARL. Unfortunately, if you look at the minimap, there's nobody around me anymore. Oh, my giddy aunt. I don't think we're going to survive. I've done 2,137. The ARL finally gets me. I die. I only get a first class because I died. Get some nice credits. Do 2,137 damage. And generally, it was a nice game. That is the M4A3E2, a.k.a. the Jumbo. A tank that used to be fantastic. Um, it's still good, but it's not what it used to be. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been informative. By all means, comment and like and everything below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a beautiful thing to do. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can upload them much simpler. You can now follow me on Facebook, Twitter and even Instagram. And until the next time... Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because you know, that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.